Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful kimono cardigan. It's perfect for summer and perfect for wearing around the house as well. I love it so much and it also has this cute little pom-pom border here. It's beautiful. Yeah, and I have free written pattern for sizes extra small go up to 4XL. It's available on our blog at knitcrawedit.com and if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry and Love Craft. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. And today tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size extra small slash small. It's the same size, okay? Which is the one that I'm wearing right now. And this is kind of like loose fit style. And if you want kind of like more fitting, go down the side. But I highly recommend stick on your side because I decide to be kind of like loose fit. All right. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Here is the materials that I use for this project. So you will need number two spot weight yarn. And I use this beautiful yarn from Hobby Lobby. This is Yarn B, Repology, Hughes, Passion Flower. I hope I said it right. <laughs> if not, I'm sorry. So yeah, this is number two spot weight yarn or fine weight yarn. 90% cotton and 10% polyester. This one in color, Passion Flower 04. In each cake is have 524 yards. And I used two cakes and I still have some left. So here's what I have left. All right, and of course, every size is, is different. Just check your side. And if you want to substitute yarn, you can do that as well. Just be sure to check the gauge before you start. And I highly recommend using this yarn because it's just so beautiful colors and the yarn does most of the work. And yeah, this is my first time using this yarn and I'm definitely go back and get more of this yarn. And I use 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and scissors yarn needle. Before we start, I want to talk about this pattern a little bit. For this pattern, we're going to work from the bottom up, just one piece. So in this one piece, we'll include two front panels and in the back panel. All right. So all that just in one piece. So we're going to make the chain this way. And the chain when we make is going to be the width, but includes the front panels and in the back panel. Okay, don't worry, I'll go slowly. And in the row that we make, gonna be the length. So anyways, after we make the change, we're gonna crochet back and forth this way until we reach the armpit. And then I'm gonna tell you exactly how many rows that you need to make. And then after that, we're gonna make the upper left. We're gonna make one at a time when we come to this part. And then after we're done with the upper left, we're gonna make the upper back. And then after that, after we're done with the upper back, we're gonna make the upper right, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna fold the um, cardigan in half like this. We're gonna sew the shoulder seam here, sew the shoulder seam here. And then we're gonna crochet around the sleeve edge. And we're done, very, very easy. And let's talk about the measurement here. The measurement, it is about 27.14 inches with a cloth, okay, not around. A cloth after we sew the shoulder seam together. And then the length, 25 inches long. All this just for size extra small slash small, okay? So for size extra small and small is the same size because it's kind of like oversized. All right, and if you make different sizes, it'll be different measurement and then different stitch count. Just check on the written pattern. Anyways, if you want longer than this, you can do that as well. Very easy to adjust. You just keep adding more rows before you separate the upper left, upper back, and upper right. 
very easy. All right, I think I got everything here and let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna make slip knot. Use any method you prefer to make a slip knot. And then I'm gonna make 179 chains loosely. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm gonna keep making the chains and I will be back when I have 179 chains. Okay, I have 179 chain here. Row one, gonna be the wrong side. For an art number row, gonna be the wrong side. So we're gonna make one double crochet into the third chain from the hook. We're gonna skip the first two chain. So I yarn over hook, I skip the first two chain and then insert the hook into the next chain. But I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. So I insert the hook there, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops, yarn over pull through two loops. And the first two chain that we skip, it doesn't count at a stitch, okay? And now we're gonna make one double crochet into each chain a cloth. So I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next chain. Again, I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. And then yarn over pull up a loop and make a double crochet. Double crochet into the next chain. And double crochet into the next chain. All right, I'm gonna keep making one double crochet into each chain across. And I will be back when I'm at the end of row one here. And the reason I like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain is give me very nice edge at the bottom here. And yeah, whatever you prefer. All right, I will be back soon. I'm at the end of row one here and I have a total of 177 double crochet stitches across. And then for row two, chain two and turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And the first two chain never count at a stitch. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch a cloth. So I'm gonna make the first double crochet into the first stitch here. And then double crochet into the next stitch. And then double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. All right, keep making one double crochet into each stitch across. And I will be back when I'm at the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two here and I have the same 177 double crochet stitches. And now row three to row 30, I'm gonna repeat row two. And every row, I'm gonna have the same amount of these stitches because I'm not increased or decreased. Okay, and I'm gonna show you a little bit on row three. Just repeat row two. So we're gonna chain two and turn. And then the first two chain, never count at a stitch. We're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across. I'm gonna make the first double crochet into the first stitch here. And then double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. See, very easy pattern. Just make double crochet into each stitch over and over. All right, I'm gonna keep 
repeating row 2 until I reach the end of row 30 and I will be back. Good luck and take your time. Okay, now I have 30 rows here. This is the end of row 30. It's pretty big. Alright. And then next, we're going to make the upper left side. It's going to be row 31. Okay, so chain 2. Again, the first two chain never count it as stitch. And then turn my work. And then I'm going to make one double crochet into each of next 41 stitches. And that is going to be the upper left side. And I'm going to show you in the paper here real quick just to make sure you understand what's going on. So right now our work is just look like, like this, right? And then we're just going to crochet the upper left side back and forth on this side for now. Just focus on this. Alright. <laughs> so, after I chain 2 and turn, I'm going to make one double crochet into each of next 41 stitches. So I'm going to make the first double crochet into the first stitch here. Right here. Yes, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. 6, 39, 40, and 41, okay? Now I have 41 stitches, so at the end of row 31, on the upper left here, I have 41 stitches. Next, row 32, chain 2, and turn. And then we're going to make one double crochet into each stitch across. So I make the first double crochet into the first stitch here. Oops. Okay. <laughs> and then double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. Alright, keep making one double crochet into each stitch across. And I will be back when I'm at the end of row 32 here. I'm at the end of row 32 here. I have the same 41 stitches across. For row 33 to row 50, I'm going to repeat row 32. Just make one double crochet into each stitch across. And every row, you're going to have the same amount of these stitches, okay? Because we're not increased or decreased. I'm going to show you a little bit on row 33 here. So I chain 2 and turn. And then make one double crochet into each stitch across. So make the first double crochet into the first stitch here. And then double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. Very easy pattern. Okay, I'm going to keep repeating row 32 over and over until I reach the end of row 50 and I will be back. Good luck and take your time. Okay, now I reach the end of row 50 here and next you just need to cut the yarn. So I cut the yarn and leave about 24 inches long tail because we're gonna use that tail to sew up this shoulder seam later. So here is my tail, and then after that, I'm just going to pull my yarn out. And I'm done with the upper left. Alright, next, we're going to do the upper back. And to do that, I want you to turn your work. So this is the wrong side. Turn the wrong side facing up like this. Sorry, it's kind of big. So see, right now, we have the upper left here which is this one and next 
We're just gonna add a new yarn right here to make the upper bag. This one. Okay. And then I'm gonna add a new yarn into the stitch next to the last stitch on row 31 on the upper left here. We're not skip any stitches there. So yeah, I insert the hook there. I bring the new yarn. Hold it on the back. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and chain two. The first two chain doesn't count it is stitch. And then I'm gonna make one double crochet into the same stitch that I just added new yarn. Alright, and then I'm gonna make one double crochet into each of next 94 stitches. Include the first double crochet, it'll be 95 stitches. This is the upper back, okay? Row 31. So, I'm gonna make double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, now I have three. Double crochet into the next. I have four. Double crochet into the next. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. All right, I'm gonna keep making a double crochet into each stitch until I have 95 stitches total and I will be back. Okay, now I have 95 stitches here at the end of row 31 on the upper back. So row 32, we chain two. Never count at a stitch and then turn. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across. So we're just gonna focus on the upper back right now. Okay, so after I chain two and turn, I'm gonna make the first double crochet into the first stitch here. And then double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. Keep doing that across. All right, I will be back when I'm at the end of row 32 here. I'm at the end of row 32 here and I have the same, 95 stitches across. And for row 33 to row 50, I'm gonna repeat row 32. And every row, I'm gonna have the same amount of these stitches, which is 95 stitches, because we not increase or decrease. All right, I'm gonna show you a little bit on row 33 here. So chain two and turn. And then make one double crochet into each stitch across. So I'm gonna make the first double crochet into the first stitch here. And then double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. All right, just keep repeating row 32 over and over. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating row 32 until I reach the end of row 50 and I will be back. Okay, now I reach the end of row 50 for my upper back and here's what it looks like. It's pretty big. Okay, and I already cut my yarn. You don't need to leave a long tail for the upper back. And then after I cut my yarn, I pull my yarn out and I'm done with the upper back. And next, we're gonna make the upper right. And to do that, we're gonna turn our work. So this is the wrong side. Turn the wrong side facing up. And then I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch next to the last stitch at row 31 on the upper back right here. We not skip any stitches there, okay? And I'm going to add a new yarn there. And let me show you in the 
paper here real quick just to make sure you understand what's going on. So right now we have the upper left and then we have the upper back and now we're gonna make the upper right here. This one. Okay, I just add a new yarn right here. All right. So I'm gonna bring my new yarn and then hold it on the back and then yarn over pull up a loop and chain two. And the first two chain doesn't count at a stitch. And then I'm gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across. This is row 31 on the upper right, okay? So I'm gonna make the first double crochet into the first stitch there, into the same stitch where we just added new yarn. This is my first double crochet. And then double crochet into the next stitch. And then double crochet into the next stitch. And then double crochet into the next stitch. And keep making one double crochet into each stitch across. And I will be back when I'm at the end of row 31 here. I'm at the end of row 31 here and I have a total of 41 double crochet stitches across and for row 32 I'm gonna chain 2 and turn and then I'm gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across and the first two chain never count at a stitch so I'm gonna make the first double crochet into the first stitch here and then double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch all right i'm gonna keep making one double crochet into each stitch across and i will be back when i'm at the end of row 32 here I'm at the end of row 32 here and I have the same 41 stitches across and for row 33 to row 50 I'm gonna repeat row 32 and every row I'm gonna have the same amount of these stitches because we not increase or decrease I'm gonna show you a little bit on row 33 here so chain 2 and turn And then we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across. So I'm gonna make the first double crochet into the first stitch here. And then double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. Oops. All right. It's very easy pattern. I'm gonna keep repeating row 32 until I reach the end of row 50 and I will be back. Okay, now I reach the end of row 50 on my upper right and next you just need to cut the yarn. I already cut my yarn and leave about 20 inches long tail. Make sure that you have the tail to sew up the shoulder seam later, okay? And then after that, I'm gonna pull my yarn out and I'm done with my upper right. And here's what it looks like. The whole piece is pretty big. So here. All right, and next we're gonna sew the shoulder seam together and let me uh, explain a little bit on the paper here just to make sure that you understand what's going on so right now my work is look like this right and to sew the shoulder seam we're gonna fold the left front side and then the right uh, front side like this and then we're gonna sew the shoulder seam here all right and then we're gonna fold the right side facing each other because we're gonna sew on the wrong side. So right now, the right side is facing up, right? So I just need to fold the right side here. 
and then I'm gonna fold the left side this is the right side facing each other all right and then we're gonna use the long tail that we left earlier to sew the shoulder seam and I'm gonna use the yarn needle to sew and you can use any method you prefer okay so I have my long tail come from the front side. I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch on the back side there, into both loops. Like that, bring it up. And then I'm gonna insert into the same stitch one more time, the front side and in the back side, just to lock the yarn. I go into both loops, okay? And then I'm going to insert into the next stitch on the front side here and the next stitch on the back side there, both loops. And then bring it up. And then I'm going to repeat that across. I insert into the next stitch on the back side here, sorry, on the front side, and the next stitch on the back side there. Both loops and then bring it up. That's it. Make sure don't sew it too tight or too loose. So I'm gonna insert into the next stitch here and the next stitch there. Bring it up. And the next stitch here and the next stitch there. Bring it up. Easy peasy. Next stitch here and then next stitch there. Bring it up. Alright. Here's what it looks like so far. This is the wrong side. And here is the right side. Right here. Okay. I'm gonna keep sewing all the way to the end here, which is 41 stitches. All right, and then after that, I'm gonna weave the end, and then I'm gonna sew this shoulder exactly the same. Whatever method you use for this shoulder, you're gonna sew exactly the same on this shoulder, and then weave all the ends. All right, and then after I have both shoulder sewn, I'll weave back and show you how to crochet around the sleep edge. Okay, now I have both shoulder sewn. Here's what it looks like. This is the wrong side, okay? And here is the right side. It's beautiful. And I also went ahead and crochet around this slip edge. And I used the pom-pom border for that. And I'm gonna show you how to crochet on this side. And we're gonna crochet on the wrong side of the work, okay? Because the pom-pom is create a little hole here. So that will be on the wrong side. That's why we need to crochet on the wrong side. Right here. Hope you understand what I'm saying. Anyways, it's pretty easy to make. All right, so right now the wrong side still facing out. Okay, we're gonna crochet on the wrong side. So I'm gonna add a new yarn into this corner stitch here, the armpit stitch. Okay, and then I insert my hook there and then bring a new yarn and then hold it on the back and then yarn over hook pull up a loop and chain one and then I'm gonna make one single crochet into the same stitch that I just added new yarn right here make a single crochet let me zoom in real quick here okay so after I make the first single crochet there I'm gonna chain nine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then into the third chain from the hook, I'm gonna make a cluster stitch. Here's the third chain, okay? So for the cluster stitch, we're gonna yarn over hook, insert the hook into that third chain from the hook, and then yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then we're gonna do that three times into the same chain. 
Here is the first time that we just did. So I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain there, and then yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the second time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the third time, and I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one to finish the first cluster. Okay, now I'm gonna chain two. One and two. And then we're gonna make a cluster stitch on top of the first cluster that we did right here. So do the same. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into that top stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. We're gonna do that three times. This is the first time. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the second time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the third time and I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one to finish the cluster stitch. And then I'm gonna make that chain kinda tight, okay? And now I'm gonna fold the cluster in half to the front to create the pom-pom. So I fold it in half to the front and then I'm gonna make a slip stitch into the same chain that we make the first cluster right here but i'm gonna try to go into both loops of the chains there to make the hole not get any bigger than that <laughs> so i insert the hook into the same chain that i make the first cluster yarn over pull up a loop and pull it through that is a slip stitch and then i make it kind of tight and now i'm gonna chain six don't make the chain too tight okay so here's one two three, four, five, six. And then I gonna skip the next space, which is the end of the row when we make the uh, body panel, okay? So next space here, and then I gonna insert my hook into the next space and then make a single crochet. Right here, make a single crochet. Okay, here's what it looks like. And then we're gonna repeat that. Chain 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then we're gonna make a cluster stitch into the third chain from the hook. So I yarn over hook. Here is the first chain, here is the second chain, here is the third chain. And I yarn over hook, insert the hook into that third chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. We're gonna do that three times into the same chain. This is the first time. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the second time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the third time and I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one to finish the first cluster. Now we're gonna chain two, one and two. And then we're gonna make a cluster stitch on top of the first cluster that we did right here. Okay, so yarn over hook, insert the hook into that top stitch there. Yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops. We're gonna do that three times. This is the first time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the second time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the third time and I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one to finish the cluster stitch. Kind of make it tight too. Okay, and now we're gonna fold the cluster in half to the front 
and then make a slip stitch into the same chain that we make the first cluster right here but I try to go into both loops of the chain so I insert the hook there yarn over quarter loop and pull it through and tie it a little bit all right and now I'm gonna chain six one two three four five and six and then I gonna skip the next space here and then make a single crochet into the next space which is the end of the row okay when we make the body panel like that and then we're gonna repeat that around here's what it look like all right I show you one more time repeat the same thing so I chain 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and then into the third chain from the hook I gonna make a cluster stitch so yarn over hook, insert the hook into that third chain from the hook. Yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops. Do that three times. It's the first time. Yeah, it's the second time. This is the third time and I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one to finish the first cluster. And now we're gonna chain two and then make a cluster stitch on top of the first cluster that we did right here yarn over insert the hook into that top stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over put through two loops this is the first time this is the second time and here is the third time and I have four loops on my hook Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one to finish the first, uh, the second cluster. Okay, now we're gonna fold the cluster in half to the front and then make a slip stitch into the same chain that we made the first cluster. Again, I try to go into both loops of the chain. Insert the hook there, yarn over, pull up a loop and pull it through and tie it a little bit. And then chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then skip the next space and then make single crochet into the next space see here's what it looks like so far we're just gonna keep repeating this around and I also have step-by-step -step video tutorial how to make the pom-pom border if you want to check it out maybe this color of yarn difficult for you to see just in case, if you want to check it out, I'm going to put the link in the description below. Alright, I'm going to keep repeating this around. And I will be back when I'm at the end here. Okay, now I crochet around my sleeve edge. And here's what it looks like. And then I'm going to show you how I like to finish uh, the edge. So this is my last pom-pom border. And then I'm going to finish with slip stitch into the first single crochet that I made right here right here okay so I insert the hook there yarn over pull up a loop and pull it through that's how I like to finish it and here's what it look like and you can you know play around with it no right or wrong you just need to play around with it whatever you like the most so yeah and then after that I just gonna cut the yarn and weave the end and I'm gonna weave the end later and you can now do the other side exactly the same and then after that you're done so this is the wrong side now I'm just gonna turn the right side out and yeah it's here so it looks like on the right side it's very cute I love it and I just need to weave all the ends and I'm done very easy and very cute as well I hope you enjoy making this cute kimono cardigan if you did please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends and I would love to see everyone's work if you want to share with me just text me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrow addict I'm gonna put all the links in the description below thank you so much for watching I will see you next video bye bye